Hello everyone and welcome back to Sousa Plays. It's time for more undead action and uh, we have some levels to take care of from our last game. We have a mummy, a white and a ghoul, one of each except for the skeletons have leveled up and we will see who, what we can do with that. Let's start with the mummy. Now we really want to roll a double on the mummy so uh, we can get block but uh, you don't always get lucky with that and we didn't this time so we get to choose now the mummy is not really super useful with more strength skill than mighty blow stand firm can be pretty good though uh, guard also good but you can't really move the mummy that's the problem a guard guy you want to have in the right spot when you don't have God on everybody like someone like Orcs or Chaos could do but still since we won't get God on everybody unless we roll a lot of doubles on the skeletons and keep them alive then I think God will be our first choice here. Break Tackle useful when you have five strength but with three movement you really don't get any don't get too far even with break tackle, but that can be good if you really need to uh, to uh, reorganize your mummy's pylon. Well, problem is if you end up on the ground, you can't really do much. So it's very rare that you would like to pile on with a mummy. It will have to be a pretty very important target to uh, waste a mummy standing up. Strong arm, of course, never going to be useful. Thick skull, maybe, but still less defensive and with 5 strength you're not going down as much. <clears throat> Multiple block, as we saw in the Wild Animal series, hasn't been very useful at all. Uh, grab could be good, though. That would actually do something. And you won't be blitzing very often with the mummy. Grab could help. But I think guard and stand firm will be our first choices and maybe grab after that and break tackle. Juggernaut, we're not blitzing with mummies. Well, we are, but not often enough that Juggernaut would be useful. Especially since we're hoping to get block anyway. But I'm going to start with guard. And uh, then we will see what the white will get. Now the whites do get strength access and they already have block. So we will probably go the other way around with them. Ooh, a 10. Hmm, we could get uh, movement 7 on a white. Uh, probably not. We have movement 7 on the ghouls, so having us on a white isn't that useful. Especially since we only get two whites, and we really need them to be uh, sort of blitzers. We can take care of targets that are a little bit further away. Um, Mighty Blow will probably be our first choice here then. Could get Guard on the Whites as well, which we probably will, but I think we start with Mighty Blow and maybe even pile on. If, and if we roll a double, I might pick up Jump Up and then we'll have like an orc blitzer with jump up we know those are useful a little bit less armor though so mighty blow here and he can remove opponents hopefully and then we have this ghoul oh an 11 on a ghoul that's agility and uh, i will not pass up agility on a ghoul agility 4 on someone on a team is great because of uh, best chances of ball handling, like picking up, well, mostly picking up, but also dodging, and he already has dodge. So 11 on a ghoul is actually kind of perfect. So suddenly Jon Snow became our most valued player, well at least our most important player. So what will we get for Agility 4 Ghoul? Well, we have a lot of time to think about that. He will probably be handling the ball, although I would rather have it on Beric for now, since he has Blodge. At least Jon Snow will be good at picking the ball up. 
He's not too far away from his next level though, so maybe we'll try to give him the ball, score two touchdowns, and then get block. So we have blodge. Then maybe sure hands, just so we know we can always pick up the ball with him without having to worry about mostly anything. Now, what do we do with our money? We could buy another ghoul. Let's see. 1200. 1250 wouldn't be the worst. Or we could get a stadium upgrade. Now, what stadium upgrade will we get? I was thinking we would actually get the bribe. The free bribe for both teams. Something that gives more injuries would probably be good for us because of our regeneration. The more injuries both teams take, the more we will pull ahead because our players regenerate. Well, at least two thirds of them. But bribes would also be good because our linemen are cheap and uh, we don't really have any irreplaceable players. Well, these four are kind of kind of important. And they have a little bit higher armor. That was my thought at least. Maybe the one where AstroTurf, where... Uh, Astro Granite actually. Where uh, you take more damage when you fall over. I don't do go for it that, ma that much. But then again, our opponent could avoid doing them as well. And then we have the one where we can surf people and have increased injuries from the crowd. But uh, we we aren't really built against we built towards surfing, so I think I will pick up a zombie. As you can see, our linemen are extraordinarily cheap, and uh, one zombie can be good to have at least as a sacrifice on the line. But then I'll have to figure out a name for him. But I think I know Edmund the Troublemaker. That's almost a Game of Thrones name, but we will call him, why not, Rob Stark, right? We, don't, we didn't have a Rob Stark, we had a Ned Stark, I think. So, Rob Stark, that'll be you. Looks okay. I guess that looks the most like Rob Stark. Um, and uh, you buy him. We can afford another mummy, or zombie, uh, not a mummy, but a zombie. But uh, I think we'll settle for 13 for now. We don't want to push our team value too much. And we also want to have some space for maybe a star player if we get the chance, or uh, another zombie if we get lucky in the game. For now though, that's it for pre-match stuff. Let's find an opponent. And I will bring you guys back once we find somebody. And we're back. We're going to play against the Walking Deads. And uh, it's Undead versus Undead. We do get a free Bloodweiser Babe, which can be useful. Especially if we end up in the, in the situation our opponent last game did where everybody got knocked out. And he also got pretty unlucky on the wake-up rolls. And of course, playing Undead over and over, that's what's going to happen, because everybody is playing Undead at the moment. Why would you play anything else, right? And... Uh, it's a shame, because playing as against Undead with Undead is not as interesting as playing against someone else. Since you will be able to... Wait a minute, he bought a Bloodwise Babe for his own money. That's annoying. Uh, so we won't have that advantage. Let's have a look. He has an armor injury on one of his mummies. That's not why you don't want to start. He only has 12 players with 13. He has leveled up two skeletons. It's the exact same squad, really. Except we have one extra skeleton. Uh, we have one extra ghoul. Dirty player on a ghoul. That's not what you want to use your ghoul for, for when you have the perfectly good foulers down here. And he has he got the agility on the white instead. I guess we're better off then. He has an extra reroll too. And uh, 
No enhancement, four wins, three losses, one draw. We check here. Two zero win, two zero loss. Was that able to concede? It was. So he is the guy who can concede. Good to know. Now let's pick up a uh, nice babe and validate. I could have gotten a bribe instead, but I think Bloodwise Babe is better because uh, fouling undeads not as useful, of course, because of regeneration. Of course, if we can get his ghouls down and foul those, we would be maybe in a good situation. Especially if we manage to kill one and get a zombie for it. Okay, here we go again. It's Blood Bowl. And... Undead versus Undead. At least he has a little bit more blood red armor, so we will perhaps be able to see the difference. And we get to start on mm, offense, I'd say. When in doubt, start on offense. Starting on defense is more for advanced coaches. So let's see if he will let us hit a mummy. Probably not. If we can get a uh, hit in on this guy, we will try it, because armor value 8. Two extra players we might be fouling. Now he has skeletons just like us, so we should be able to, to cause some damage if we can get the lucky coin flip, really, of who starts to get uh, good things happening. R what? Really? Wow. It's gonna let us hit seven players if we can manage it. Okay, well you're gonna be here then. Now, who will be the important ones? This mummy... If we start on this side, we can hit him. We can hit him. And then we can hit... We can't hit his mummy. We need to be like that. And actually like this. And you there. So... No. You hit him, you hit him. Hang on. Yeah, this is better. Because now we can hit his mummy here. Uh, one minute, okay, okay. You should definitely be on the line. So we hit him, he's important. That's why we use Mighty Blow there. You hit him. That's a pretty bad hit, but okay. Alright, let's hope he doesn't get the Blitz here. We have lots of uh, opportunities to start off. I might use a reroll if we get a turnover early here, just because we have so much to gain from hitting these guys. And we get a reroll, so an even number of rerolls. The ball is off to the side, out of the range of his guys. I'm gonna put this guy here. I'm not gonna pick it up yet though. So let's start by hitting his mummy, so we get rid of him. No wait, yeah, that's what we should do. We should hit him from here and get rid of his guard. I will not follow. Unfortunately, no armor break, but that's okay. Now let's go for this agility guy. Might as well follow that. No damage. Too bad. Uh, that's not a very good hit. Let's have this hit then with a block. Good. Uh, I won't follow that. Hey, that's nice. We stunned one guy. And then we have this. Uh, okay, that's fair enough. Too bad. Now I should take this. That's even worse. 
But not worth a reroll, is it? Maybe. I want to stomp on him if I can manage it. Now let's get this guy out of our. Oh, that guy needs to be pushed as well. So maybe we can do this one then. If I can get knocked down here, I can push this guy away and get another assist for the foul. And we have a blitz. Let's blitz here. We can push him to here. Uh, don't need to. Okay, well, uh, that was a big lack of damage there. Let's see if we can get the ball. Yes. And then we foul this money. 58%. Okay, we do this first then. I don't really want to be sent off without causing some damage here. At least getting him off the field. A knockout would be kind of nice. Nothing. Okay. Well, that was a pretty, pretty bad first turn for us. You'd expect more than one stun if you manage to knock down six players. Whereas some of them have armor seven as well. And we foul. We fouled as well, so. Well, we're gonna get some more hits here. Unfortunately, this mummy is out of. Uh, out of the play here. If he stands up here, I will have a hit on him, unless he marks somebody here. There's plenty of players to mark with, but that one didn't mark. He also has a blitz. He can blitz here or here. He wants to get into the game. Why is he... Oh, right, that's my guy. He failed to go for it. Is he going to use one of his four rerolls? Yes. And he gets the hit. He's probably going to follow as well to get out of this. And he broke armor, to be expected on a uh, armor seven. So this song, uh, this mummy is out of our reach right now. However, if we punch him, we could hit this mummy. Where does this guy go? No foul. It's not very worth it. So I think we blitz you with the mummy. That would allow us to hit this guy. Seems pretty good. I'm gonna move the ball up here though. And put this guy nearby. So that means we're not hitting this mummy. That's fair enough. Let's go for the agility guy. Even if I get a push, this is okay. That's better than a push. Ah. Such a shame. Um, I'll hit him because we have... Wait, oh, that was a two die. I thought it was a single die first then. I was a bit worried. And uh, just stay there. Well, we stunned another skeleton. Aldrich the Barber. Now let's see if we can get his armor value, negative armor value mummy down. Do I want to put him between my mummies? Do I even want to follow here? I don't think so. I'll stay here. No damage. Sad times. How about this? I won't follow that. Nope, no damage. Okay, looks like we're not gonna win that coin flip. At least not yet. 
I could try for a one assist foul. Eh, it's not very good. Let's bring this ghoul back and bring this skeleton out here. I guess I could foul him to assists with the zombie. Is that really worth it though? 58% I don't think that's worth it, not without the bribe Let's... Let's get him to hit... Uh, no, it's not very good Forty-two percent to stun the mummy I guess that's a little bit better if we lose a zombie, then so be it. As I said, oh, we did some damage. We stunned him. That's pretty good. Now he can't get up. Duh. But uh, this guy can blitz us. Did leave the ball a little bit further behind than I normally like. But I don't think he can break through. See, that's a dodge because of the mummy. He's just standing up. If he's not, yeah, he's gonna hit the mummy. That's of course his best play. Although we have armor nine, and he only got a push. He rerolled it. Double skulls. It's, uh, punished. Okay. Well, that's good for us, of course. So I'm thinking we hit this guy here. You can stand back up now. And we don't have any hits down here. When the game decided to make it not so fun. Well, you could have not rerolled that, I guess. Double skulls is, of course. Uh, unlucky, but not unheard of. Do I want to blitz here? I mean, we could blitz with him instead, that's probably better. If I go out here, I could probably put a cage up over here and force him to move. Blitz him, and then go and be the back corner. You can stand there, and you're pretty good there. Let's bring you up here. Bring you over as well. This guy ties up this mummy. You can go over here. Let's hit this guy. Mighty blow block versus no mighty blow block. Now, I'm not going to do what he did and reroll that out of greed. Instead, I'm just going to take it out and move back here. I think I'll move the mummy up here. He will be in a tackle zone, but he'll have to uh, use a lot of players if he wants that. It. Of course we have that. I'll bring this guy to here. Have this guy mark his mummy. And then I'll do this hit. That's good. I will follow that. Even though that will give him a chance to, st to hit us. And that's our first, first bit of damage. That's a little bit more permanent, although with a babe that guy might come back at the end of the drive. It's likely to come back. He gets up. <clears throat> can get up here. Didn't blitz there. I was kind of expecting him to. Maybe he can get that hit anyway. He doesn't have any hits over here. Also, he could have stood all these guys up last time before he did that hit would also have been better for him. He's gonna hit our skelly there. Just get him down. And he gets his first knockout. So, 1-1, one, one, I guess. Dodge? I wonder if he saw that. It was the agility guy. He failed it anyway. So 
his third reroll. He got it. I guess that one wasn't a bad move. Pretty good chance to get him down. I would have hit with the other guy to get a two die. And then he would have a one die here. Still a one die there. Worth taking in my opinion. Yep. Definitely worth taking. Okay, no armor break. Good so far. We could move these guys over on this side. We have a mummy hit there. If Cage can move, maybe we blitz him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, he's a little bit too far away to hit. But uh, that guy isn't. So we hit him instead then. And then put the cage up here. Single die, double skulls. Well, you might as well roll double skulls when a single skull would be enough. Ooh, injury. And I think that's not regenerated. Yeah, that's a failed regeneration. And level up for our, for our guy. It was a bit unnecessary, really. Um, so we can two die here. I would leave our mummy behind. We could also be here. Maybe get a three die on him. We could put the cage here. Get a three die on him with the mummy. Then again, this is a better hit, and he has mighty blow too. So I think we do. We hit this way. First though, this guy needs to be standing. We have this hit. We don't have that hit. Maybe we can run someone back. Get a single die. Uh. Okay, let's take the triple die here. That's not super. I'll follow just to get a two die there. So we put the cage around this spot. I'll put this guy in this corner because he has block in case we uh, don't get that guy down for some reason. We don't really need anyone on this side, so I'll put this guy here. Creep up a little bit. And then we hit his ghoul from here. Two die. With block, not good enough. I uh, won't waste the reroll. And where do we put you? I guess we put you down there. We have a two die here with block. No result. We keep him on the mummy. I have a feeling he'll blitz us, but sure. Then we have this, two die. That's better. Follow. And then we have this, which is a negative die. But it will actually benefit us if we can push that guy away from our mummy. Yeah, I'll take that. If he wants to take both down, I'm fine with it. It was my last move anyway. If he wants to take take a push, that's fine because it will move him away from our mummy so he can't hit us. You don't want one of your mummies going out. Now he could blitz a mummy of course. Gotta tie this guy up. That's a pretty good red die to take since we have block. Of course not as a crucial move, but as, as the last move, pretty good. Okay, looks like he's making a hit on this corner. Good thing I put the blodger there maybe. Depends on if he actually gets the pow. He doesn't. Dodge actually helped. Is he gonna follow there? No. 
to tie up the Sondi. Small chance of a surf. Of course, that also means we have a blocker here to to hit anyone he would put in there. Uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good uh, barrier. Mummy gets in on our mummy, and there's someone moved into into contact. He takes a good red eye and gets a push. That's the best you can hope for, really. Gonna push us onto the other mummy? No, it's gonna push us free. And follow, so we're not free then. Uh, if we can get him, and then... We'd have to blitz him. Uh, maybe I should get over here, help there. Uh, we need to get rid of him and then have... Alright, we need to knock this guy down. That is probably the most... Uh, we don't need to knock him down, actually. We can push him. Again, I don't want to stand next to his mother. Uh, right, so we need to blitz him to get these three through. I'd rather blitz with him, but we can't really do that. And I can't really hit with him, because... I need to push him aside. Uh, okay, that's what. That's good. So where do we put the cage? Not too far now. I think over here will be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, here is probably the best place. You go there. Can I get someone up there? No. Oh, hmm, I might have uh, actually... Okay, let's do this then. One, two, three, four, five, six. This should be good. I'll put you there. He can't reach around that corner, so that should be fine. I've already blitzed. I guess that's good enough. Okay, what else? We have this hit, which we should probably take. Good. No damage. And this is a triple negative now. Uh, that's not as good. I can tie him up and take a double negative. I will. Ooh, that's perfect. Because of no block. I'm still gonna get hit by the other mummy, since he won't go back. But we got the knockout on the mummy, that's great. That's huge. Uh, do we want to take a one die skeleton versus zombie? I don't think so. Do we want to take a negative die? Do we want to dodge a zombie? I don't think so. I mean, he could get surfed from there, but I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, end time. We have three rerolls, I could have taken this one die actually. And re-roll it if it was a skull. He's gonna go for the surf then. No, he's gonna go for the knockdown. 50% dodge to get a red die. Could at least make it a single die. And he don't have to dodge away from that. Well, it's probably gonna hit him first. But... Mummy rolls double skulls. And that's a good re-roll though. He has rolled double skulls two, three, two times at least. So that's unlucky. Gets the push, that means he could blitz us for a surf. 
surfing a zombie is that really going to make much of a difference hopefully not Ooh, and he didn't get it he got a turnover and hurt himself well he's not going to be happy about that nope he just conceded so I guess that means we don't get S for P on our uh, agility guy which we were hoping for but uh, not much to do about that, I couldn't really score earlier. And we got SPP on our agility guy anyway. Uh, we don't need more money than that, I'm not gonna reroll it. Two ghouls got MVP. I guess you would rather have it on your other positionals, but it's better than getting it on the skeletons, I suppose. And one SPP away from Jon Snow. Maybe he can throw a pass at some good opportunity. Seven armor breaks versus two, we were on the attack. We took twice as many blocks, and we didn't... Well, we caused a little bit more injuries, I guess. Although that injury was self-inflicted, because he hit us with red dice and rolled... Actually, he rolled double skulls there, so it was actually three double skulls in uh, five turns. But uh, a little bit early to concede, I would say. Of course, I never concede, so it's always too early. Right, well, that's gonna have to do it for this video. We got a level for Hodor, so second mummy levels up. Hopefully we can roll double. We also have more money than we can use. I'll probably pick up that stadium upgrade. And uh, we'll keep going from there. How's our stats? Four wins, one loss. Eh, pretty good. But... Uh, Early, early yet for this team. Sorry about the short video, that happens sometimes. And, uh, oh, it helps me, I don't, I can spend more time working and less time recording. But, uh, I'll hopefully, uh, normally I would play a, a second game when a game ends in the first half of the first half, if you know what I mean. But uh, not this time, I will have to, you will have to deal with a shorter video today. I'll be back tomorrow. I think it'll be a TBBL game tomorrow. And, uh, well, then we'll see. Maybe a little bit more time of sparse updates in the future, but I'll be back with more Blood Bowl. And hopefully you will be back too. Thank you very much for watching.